Hi, I'm Abby with Respiratory Therapy. I'm here to perform some oral cares. I'm um, going to wash my hands. Apply my gloves. I'm going to come over to the side of the patient and I'm going to grab the next kit in line, which is my swabs. Um, so first of all, I'm just going to take my suction and I'm just gonna go in Kind of suction out the sides, the back of the mouth, get it all nice and clean. And then I can hook up my swab to the suction. I'm going to apply my cream and I'm just going to go in and brush the patient's teeth, um, their tongue, their gums, the side and roof of the mouth. We just want to Get it all nice and clean. And then I can suction as well. Get it all cleaned out. And we are finished with that one. Then I'm going to go in with my other swab here. Put some moisturizer on it. And go through and moisturize the mouth and the lips. And I do work in a nursing home, so I have performed oral cares, so I do have a great idea of how to do that. Um, next, I'm going to do a cuff pressure check. So I'm take my stethoscope, put it on the side of their neck. I am going to attach this to the pilot balloon. I'm going to deflate. And then when I'm reinflating the balloon, I'm going to listen, I'm listening for that leak. So once I don't hear that leak anymore, that means I have a good cuff pressure. And so we can do it that way, or we can take the device, attach it to the pilot balloon, and it'll give us a reading. Um, just knowing that um, when you do disconnect them, you're gonna lose that little bit of pressure. So when we practiced it, um, I'm going to inflate it a little bit and then once it gets right above where I want it I'm going to disconnect it and then we have a good cuff pressure um, I can always listen for a leak to see if I hear one if I don't that means I got it pretty well um, once I'm done doing oral cares and a cuff pressure check I'm just going to make sure I reposition that ET tube and make sure it's not breaking down like the lips there's no pressure sores um, I'm also going to want to make sure it's at the correct length that didn't get pushed in or pulled back out so I can adjust that accordingly. And then I can just do a, like my assessment to um, listen to the breath sounds or the chest raising and falling equally. Um, do they need a treatment? Does my settings on the ventilator look good? So once I've just made sure everything's okay before I leave the room. I'll thank them and tell them I'll be back in another two hours to do the next set of oral cares, and that is it.